Welcome to my channel Creative Empowerment. We are here with a pick a card reading and this pick a card reading is asking the question what next. So it's really open-ended. It's about what next either in your life, in this relationship, in this career or your career. Um, what next with anything else that you want to think about. But we're going to really leave it open to spirit which is just what next and see what what comes and as you can see the the first cards are faced up and today your your intuition is going to be challenged by your conscious mind and by your thinking or thought process um, so as always with a pick a card I want you to focus on um, using your intuition and not your um your thinking mind don't read what's on the cards um and you know if the colors are calling out to you then you know use that as your guide there'll be things that that help you make the decision but don't do it because of the word um so it's kind of like you have to try and override your conscious mind to to stay present to stay in awareness while you're choosing these piles and um, so what next? We have four piles. We have pile number one with the purple card and a um, tourmalated quartz. Pile two with the bright red and purple. And we have a Lemurian um, quartz. We have pile three, which is sodalite and the orange and blue colors. You can see I'm not using words or the you know the descriptive words I'm using descriptive words rather than language that's on the cards and we have purple and green and we also have carnelian and you may or may not be able to see that I have a lot of carnelian today with us in um, so I have a big beautiful round um, carnelian which wanted to really come in today so bringing in lovely fire energy lots of creativity, um, all those sorts of things. I also have carnelian on my um, Ganesh statue, which is one of my favourite um, ascended masters or goddess or gods. Um, so lots of orange energy, lots of creativity, lots of fire, lots of sacral chakra coming in from um, spirit before we even get started. Take some time to choose to, or to see which pile is calling you or piles. There might be more than one pile. The timestamps will be in the description box and the comment box below. If you like Pick a Card readings, please subscribe for more Pick a Card readings for, from my channel. I do two a week. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up for me. Thank you. I will see you in your reading. Hi there, pile one. If you chose the judgment card, well, I told you I asked not for you not to look at the words, but you know, it's a bit hard. The judgment card um, says that I understand that everyone has their own unique path and challenges. So, but it's in the reversed position, and you also chose the um, tourmalated quartz in this what next reading. So I'm going to leave it up that way actually. We're going to place this over here for now and we're going to come back to that card as we get your other cards out so this reading is all about what next so what what's coming up for you next and without looking at the judgment card we want to look at the tourmalated court so it's all about um, clarity um, night and day you know yin and yang all that sort of um, polarities okay and judgments can often be because we're seeing things in polarities but we'll come back to that so I want to come to this bare feet card and it's walkabout and um, and I'm looking at the colors here um, they're not exactly similar but they do show up as similar when I'm looking through the camera um, and there's a lot of pinks and rusty colors yellows oranges and today I have got a lot of carnelian so we're really 
it feels like we're, we're working with a lot of passion energy coming in through here. Um, it feels like there is necessary movement for you to move, um, whether that's a, an actual physical move of house. Uh, it could be for some of you, but more about just moving your perspective around, your frame of reference, your focus. Like all of those words are different, but they mean a very, very similar thing. It's, a, it's about an, making an adjustment. Because as I talked before, this this crystal here is all about, you know, night and day, light and dark, you know, black and white, really. And it's about seeing things in a black and white way. And um, when we are seeing things in a black and white way, there's no room for anything else in our lives. And it can cause quite a lot of conflict. You know, sometimes when we're when we move into a conflict, we can feel justified, whether that's right or wrong, it doesn't really matter, but we can feel like it's a necessary conflict. We need we need to make this movement. We need to um, shake things up a bit because, uh, you know, it's justified. We, we, we need to move that way. For me, what I'm seeing here with this card is that you need to change your perspective. Um, so you may not appreciate me saying that to you, but it's like you're seeing things too black and white maybe the situation's too black and white. I don't know who the black and white element is, but the bare feet, these feel like yours. It feels like you need to go from, you know, seeing it over here. It's like your body's, you know, you're not even looking at the situation. You've like got your body on the side and you're looking a, diff a, a different way instead of actually looking forward. And so this talks about, you know, whatever this thing is that, that is um, the situation that you're in. It's like you need to move around it. You need to get some different perspectives from it. And for some of you, it might mean time. Um, so the moon card is coming in. So that can mean several different things. It could be that something will be uncovered under the full moon, the new moon. Um, in you know, The moon will illuminate something for you that will help you. But what I, want to, what I really need to tell you is that Without a shift in perspective, this is going to stay the same. It's going to remain really, really closed off, really, really at loggerheads, um, really, really confrontational. And the the moon, the moon sort of highlights and uncovers secrets. While the moon will definitely sort of bring something to light for you, or um, at, maybe at a time of the moon, or you know, I don't know how that's going to work for you. But it's like there needs to be a shift in perspective and, and how you're viewing this situation because otherwise there's just there's no way forward. That's what I'm really seeing. It's like the way you're viewing it right now, it's so stuck and you, you're not going to move forward. You're, you can move around this and still not change your mind if you don't choose to change your perspective. Um, nothing's going to happen. Now, I'm going to come back to this um, card in a minute, but we have Earth Magic over here. And this card again, so we've got bare feet, we've got walking on the earth. So for you to, to help you unlock, to help you to, to de... what's the word? To stop this being at loggerheads, perhaps you need to take your shoes off and go for a walk on the grass on at the beach. Um, you know strange things happen when we not strange things things happen when we allow ourselves to go in bare feet um, because we connect with the earth's energy and when we do that it's like we we plug into that 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 source of energy and we can allow things to leave our bodies so we can let things go that we're hanging on to when we're walking in our shoes we are not disconnecting, we are not detaching, we are not unplugging from situations, events. Um, you know, like it's kind of like when you allow yourself to connect to the earth, you can see it here, it's like you can release things that you don't need anymore. And it's like the energy starts to move and sort of like it's a, it's a change card, you know, that... that that connecting to the earth in a different way is going to be a thing that helps you change your perspective. And I've made a video about grounding. So if you want to have a look at that, um, I'll link that in the script description box below for you to pile one um, to help you understand what that can do for you to help you around situations that feel like they're at, at an impasse because that's really how it feels to me. 
the royal you now i feel this is you and taking your own perspective um to to the nth degree it feels like you're you're seeing yourself as royally right and there can be nothing else um and i'm really i am really uh putting this on you and i do apologize for that it started raining big time here but this is how i'm being told to speak to you about this um what's next for you what's next is quite an quite an antagonistic situation or you're already in one and it's going to continue until you start to see things differently and the royal you <clears throat> while um you know this could be that you're really quite self-empowered it's not how this is coming across at the moment you're not being self-empowered you you're sticking yourself in the mud you're creating a rod for your own back you're really um antagonizing this person situation whatever it is now i'm going to bring the judgment card in here because this is what is creating um this chaos this the stuck feeling that's happening here and it feels very relationship based and it may be friend relationship based it may be work relationship based it doesn't have to be romantic but it could be but the judgment is you looking through your own lens and i've talked about here about perspective um, and it's very much about that it's very much you seeing everything in your own way and not allowing yourself to even imagine that someone else could have some answers that you may not have thought about that you may not have seen so there's this this element of you thinking that you're the royal we it says you but i'm thinking of we as in you know they call themselves we we are not amused um it's that kind of thing that this perspective that you're carrying is the only one and it's a really stuck feeling it's really black and white um the beautiful beautiful uncaging this card here and this is what is happening and this is what this um it's what's next for you because this situation is meant to bring this about it is meant to unlock your heart it you may be learning some really valuable skills during this situation it may be a really good lesson um, for you and it doesn't mean that you know the way you're behaving that there's anything wrong with it per se or in other times and in, in different circumstances but in this particular circumstance it's just like yes you can you can be the person that um, asserts themselves and doesn't want to back down but it's like you have to take every situation and um, and view it afresh you can't you can't say that because you were right 10 times before that this one you have to be right this time too and it's not about that it's not about being right or wrong because that's the bit that's keeping you stuck it's about unlocking your heart and saying this behavior this situation it's keeping me stuck i'm closing off my heart i'm being you know it's not even you're protecting it. it's like like this says it's like it's in a cage um and then last card for you is ascended masters and it's create open communication and this is what i feel that the your guides really want that that i don't feel like i don't feel like you are like this all the time i feel like you've been pushed to this point and and probably some of you have been sitting there going yes but this person has pushed me this situation has pushed me past what i normally would put up with and i get that i really do but the thing about this is we we get lessons to learn from them to heal from them to move forward excuse me and what our guides want us to know about this is create open communication okay it's it's like i could say that over and over again because it's like you need that's the thing you need to know with this one here it's like create open communication not only in this situation but with your higher guides you know call them in ask them okay so yes i understand i'm this is a learning lesson for me um help me you know 
come into that higher frequency and learn from it because these are the two the, the two key cards here about what next you're moving into a higher frequency you're moving into a greater level of understanding than you than you could have possibly understood before because this this mindset does not allow for that opening up but you are moving beyond this judgment phase um, understand that you know your guides that um, everything is being worked out for you and it's being worked out in the way that so that you progress so that you learn the lessons so that you move forward there could be karmic um, lessons here for you um, but it's learning experiences that are allowing you to grow to expand to move forward um, and to to like level up to raise your energy um, you know the, the ascended masters are helping you that they're, they're working with you we've got the card two um, and two is about you know working together working in harmony which the rest of this reading has been butting heads whereas this one here is about working together so there's there's a big lesson that you're learning here and and I feel like you've been pushed to the point and I really get that too um, and it's okay but it's about learning from it, not not taking the grudge and the judgment and, and pushing on. It's about learning and lightening the energy and moving to a, a you know to a heightened awareness, to a, a more open, relaxed state of who you are, and where this is in balance and harmony and not confrontational. Wow, big lessons that are coming up here for you. So, you know, don't 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 think that you know, you need to get it all straight away or that I'm making any judgments about how you're behaving because I'm certainly not. But these are the messages that spirit wanted you to know about what next for you. It's a really exciting time in your life because you are learning some really high vibrational stuff. You are learning how to move through a situation that is not pretty that is not nice that is really really stuck you are learning and learning sometimes feels really uncomfortable please let me know down in the comments below what you thought about this if that if you are already in this situation if you enjoyed the reading please give it a thumbs up please share it with family and friends subscribe to my channel for more pick card readings thanks for joining me today hi there pile two if you picked the lemurian quartz and this purple and red card, which is all about indecision. I use my intuition in all aspects of my life. However, this is turned upside down. Now we're going to come back to this card. I'm going to leave it to the side over here and use that to hold it up. And we're going to put out all your other cards and um, see where, see what we've we've got for you today. And all of the decks today are all very different. Um, so the first card I really want to be drawn to or that I'm drawn to is Sandpiper Spirit. Be playful. So this is all about what next. And you can see that this Sandpiper, who is not a bird that I actually know much about at all, but you can see that he's splashing or she is splashing in um, the lily pads, uh, around the lily pads. And they've got quite a quirky little hat on their heads or it looks like a hat anyway um let's bring it up closer so you can see what i'm talking about but they're they're playing the and the card talks about being playful so what next for you is about channeling that inner creativity um your playfulness and your inner child yeah so it feels like there's a lot of seriousness happening around you and perhaps this is why you've picked the indecision card because it's very bold the colors that you've picked there's a, there's a bold energy, strong energy. Um, feels like it's a right or wrong energy being happening around you. And what spirit wants you to do right now is to play, is to stop being so serious and um, and tune into what feels good for you. Um, the indecision is coming from this the the belief that um, things have to be right or wrong, that there's no in between. And when you're also using your your, your mind instead of your 
intuition which also that this card talks to so now we're talking about the card i'm going to bring it in it's going to go down here and it is going to be up the other way because i feel like you are working on a decision um or there's a a way forward or a um a path a journey you know there's a quite a few things that it could be but there's a lot of indecisiveness about it but there is a lot of people either around you or involved in this that are like there is only yes or no answers and that for you is causing a lot of internal conflict and creating this indecisiveness and it feels like you're not really listening to your intuition um, so sandpiper wants you to to reconnect with you know that that all-knowing part of you the part that wants to play sing dance all those things because what happens is we shift energy when we when we enjoy stuff when we go with the flow we're shifting and we're going into that creative mode and the car the the crystals that I've got supporting us today are all uh, are carnelian and carnelian is all about create creativity, flow, you know, that passion, excitement. And it feels like to me that there's too much black and white involved in this decision or this movement forward or whatever it is, whatever's next for you. It feels like it's too serious and now I'm being called to the black and white of goanna and you can see that the goannas are actually mirroring each mirroring each other um, and there's a lot of uh, push pull is what i want to say and i feel that's again it's, a, it's around this decision that you're making or this movement forward and it's like goanna's showing up to like sandpaper sandpiper to show you that it's time to look after number one self-preservation is really really important and if you see here these two aren't coming at each other they're you know moving side by side and it's kind of like you can mirror or reflect back to that other person that you're um that you're making this decision with about or whatever it is like whether it's work or whatever but i feel like I feel like this person is really, um, or people, are uh, trying to disempower you. I feel that feels really, and that's why I feel this is coming in too. It's like, um, it's like they want to disempower you and make you think that you are indecisive, that you don't know what to do. Um, and they're, they're making you feel like you're confused. That's I'm feeling that quite strongly. And that you wouldn't know success if it came up and bit you on the bum. Um, whereas this is not true. And uh, these two cards here are kind of mirroring each other again in the way they, you know, the colours and things like that. And so we've got purple and we've got, you know, say let's say oranges and red. So again, we've got the... The sacral chakra so it, you know like if you're really invested in something in work um, and somebody is trying to tell you that your your ideas or your creation is not that good it that's what it feels like it feels like someone is trying to say to you oh what are you trying to do is not that great and I think that they're actually being deceptive like that might not be true for everybody here but I do have that feeling that you're that whoever whoever this is that you're working with um, making decisions with planning things with there's an element of of someone trying to disempower you not that not everyone's going to be untrue um, or doing it on purpose but but sometimes people people think that if they can dis you know if they can dis can't even say the words if they can take your power away it means you're more likely to to go on their side right it's that simple it's not about them thinking they're better than you it's simply they want what they want and they want you to make that decision too or they whatever it is that your idea is they want to use their idea and not yours so it's it's really this one or the other which is why i was talking about the black and white you know like it's there's really no give or take here and that makes success really, really hard and it makes decision making really hard too because you're invested in your own ideas but you're feeling like your stuff is not as good as theirs. 
And that's why we're seeing Peacock in the reverse here because Peacock is not feeling proud and knowing their own stuff, you know, because Peacock's all about being in your own power, being self-empowered because, not because you're all that, but because you understand um, what you bring to it. And as I said that, my body just relaxed a lot more because you understand, because it's like you're having this really inner turmoil because you think that, what these people are saying or how they're making you feel. It's not what they're saying. It's how they're making you feel is true. And it's not. You Like spirit really wants you to know that. It's not true. They're making you feel this way. You don't need to feel this way. Easier said than done, of course. But this is, this is how they're changing you at the moment. It's creating this indecision. So for you to do to for you to change these energies, it's about being playful, doing things you enjoy, whether that's not even in this um, environment, but it could be you you might become playful um, in this environment instead of um, you know being serious, you might become silly and it might disarm people. Who knows? Um, but it's about self preservation and not going directly in for the kill in any way, shape, or form, or asserting your energy. Um, you know, that you're going to rise on top of whatever this thing is, that you have to push through. It's not about that at all. And this is how you get through, how you you make, um, you know, everything flip into the right way by using these two cards here, um, but also by realizing that, you know, you're in this, you're in this space for a reason and then kind of pulling yourself back and saying, Okay, so this situation's happening to me. It's really uncomfortable. I'm not enjoying it. I am feeling less than. This situation, whatever's happening, is making me feel like I question my beliefs, my ideas, my creativity, my judgment, uh, my decisions, whatever it is. And if you can see that and start stepping away from it, you can then start seeing how this is how this is working. Not Not how it's set up because, you know, um, you don't want to see it all, as all strategic, but you do want to see that that certain things are at play, and if you can can calmly look at them, you'll notice that there's um, there's an energy signature here. You'll notice that this has played out before in your life, that the past is in the present. So for you, you have this energy signature and these are high vibrational cards. So it's kind of like this, this lesson that's coming up for you, whatever this is, um, this what next for you is showing you that it's time to learn from these experiences. It's time to understand that whatever this was in the past, and it may have been really, really quite different because that's why it feels like you didn't see any of that. You didn't see what this is because this, is, this feels like it, it disarmed you. It, it made you feel like you were less than, but it's like you haven't felt this experience before, but what your guides want you to know is you absolutely have. It's like a wolf um, dressed in sheep's clothing because you, um, you've been surprised by it. You've been taken by surprise because you found yourself going in with all your emotions just like falling in. Um, and really doubting yourself, really doubting who you are and not understanding why. It's kind of like you felt like you're in a little bit of quicksand and what they want you to know is because it's an important lesson. That's why. That's why you you kind of went in really, it's like you went in head over heels. Um, so for some of you, it could be a relationship that's, um, you know, that a karmic kind of relationship, which definitely would make sense with those cards there. But not for all of you. A lot of you, it feels very work-related. Um, but this this is showing you, this card here is showing you that you have seen this before. It may have looked different. My head is spinning now that I've said that to you. It's like when you get that knowledge and when you then look at this situation again, you will start seeing the energy signature, which is this card here, and you'll start going, oh, right, last time I felt shit because whatever it was. I started to doubt myself because um, why do I do that? You know, like start questioning yourself. And this is what this card is about, staying removed. 
Don't go, oh, I always do this. I wish I wouldn't do that. Don't go into that. Um, this, car, this, this energy here that this reading is surrounded by for everybody today is about empowerment, is about um, what next in an empowering way because when you see the patterns, you can, you can learn from them. And when we learn from them, spirit doesn't have to keep upping the ante. Each time we don't learn, spirit ups the ante and it means it makes it more painful next time. It's like the sledgehammer comes in or the Mack truck comes in to teach us the lesson because we weren't paying attention the first time. We didn't see the synchronicities. We didn't see how it related to that other relationship in the past or the first time we ever took a job or whatever it is or how our parent used to treat us, you know, in life. Find the things, find the patterns in this situation this situation doesn't feel like it's been a big long running thing for most of you this feels like it's kind of new um and it's kind of short and sharp so it's like learn it and then it'll be over with okay it might not be you know easy it may it you know you may feel be feeling discomfort but it's a short sharp lesson if you get it you'll move on and you'll advance you won't have to do it again so what's next for you is it's time to learn this lesson so that you can flip how you're feeling and move into a much more comfortable state of being where you know who you are, you know how to make decisions that are about um, keeping yourself as the most important priority here and remembering to be playful because when we get so serious, um, a playful energy can disrupt things and that's your way through to success. That's the way through um, flipping all of these things and really empowering yourself um, and one of the things about Lemuria is that there was lots of mistakes were made by the high vibrational people that went there and it's not we you know we're not reminded of all those things so that we can just go oh right they made those less you know they made those mistakes it's like learn from your mistakes so you don't have to do it again and that's what this reading for you is all about today learn from and it may not be a mistake but learn from these lessons so you can move on this is a great reading for you i love this is bringing a lot of clarity to this situation for you what next for you is learn your lesson um Please let me know in the comments below um, whether this resonated for you. If you enjoyed this reading, please give it a thumbs up and share it with family and friends. And subscribe if you like Pick a Carb readings. Thanks for joining me today. Hope to see you again soon in another reading. Bye. Hi, Pile 3. If you chose the Growth card and the Soda Light, this is your reading today. And we're going to place that up there for now because we're going to come back to that card. And we're going to put some cards out to get an idea of what is coming up next for you in your life. The first card that I want to talk about is Merlin. Um, <laughs> and Merlin here is talking about alchemy, justice and balance. And he is obviously a male um, energy and he brings with him, you know, that that idea of magic, that idea of um, transformation, um, magical transformation, um, moonlight, that sort of deep, deep blue. And there's quite a lot of colours here that look kind of similar for you. And um, even your growth card is all about blues. Um, so the blue could be the throat chakra and and it could also be related to the psychic senses that we hear our, you know, our communication from through a psychic sense. Because it does feel like there's quite a lot of intuitive cards here. Um, and so for so for some of you, um, it feel yeah, it does. It feels like there's a lot of there's growth in that sort of um, psychic sense for for a lot of you. Um, it may not apply for all of you, but it does feel like that is coming in, that, that real opening up. And it may be that you've been opening up for some time for some of you, but it's a growth phase, okay? So it's like a deepening. It's like um, unlocking a new door and walking into an area you didn't even know existed. 
So Merlin wants you to know that you have all that you need to move forward. Rejoice that all the elements you require for success are indeed present. So sometimes when we, you know, we we want to look work with oracle cards or we want to work with tarot cards, you know, um, we think we need to go and do a whole heap of study or and doesn't I'm not saying that you don't because this could also be a male teacher coming in, um, but it's about knowing that Merlin wants you to know that you are enough. Even right where you are now, you're enough to start, to make a start. You don't need to spend the next six months researching, learning. Excuse me. You don't need to, you know, spend more and more time investing in new things, new technologies, new books, new cards, new this, that and the other, um, new courses. Start where you are, you know, trust. Call on Merlin, ask him to come in. Your intuition is, it's like it's coming online. Even if you're, like I said, even if you've been doing this for some time and you're already an intuitive person, you already have intuitive practices, guess what? You're leveling up. You're going to a higher state. It's like, see that the fruit on this tree with Bat Island is all sort of hanging low and the bats are all moving up higher than that okay so they're you know bats um use sonar and they have that extra sensory perception to guide them during the night and there's a lot of night aspects with these two cards here and it's like you are so we've got the full moon as well so you are i'm not sure if the full moon is in this card as well there is a moon, but you can't see if it's full. Um, but we also have one and two here. So we have this progression. So it's kind of like you'll make slow and steady progression. But I feel like you can make, um, you know, faster progression is the best word I can say. If you acknowledge what's happening in your life, if you acknowledge that, um, that this is a time of growth in your psychic awareness, in your psychic senses. Um, it feels really strong for me and it feels um, like it's like once you do that, the, the, the time frame shortens. So what's next is you move through this sort of initiation because Merlin is also about this initiation um, into your intuition even more. And it could be that you get a new guide. It could be that you get a new teacher um, there's lots of online classes at the moment. You know, if there's someone you've always wanted to work with, see if they're doing um, an online class. Having said before, you don't need to do anything. So it's like only do the things that you feel really guided to do. Trust your intuition to expand your intuition. So like that's it's like this. It's like you're being asked to trust, trust, and trust. Now we see sea turtle here. And this is like this different, different pace is coming in at the moment for you. So what's next for you here is, it's this card is about travel, but it, but when I look at it, it really, it makes me feel that part of you is walk is going towards the future, with the green and the new, and then there's a part of you that's kind of daydreaming into the past, and. You know, we can travel back and forwards in time. However, we need to be aware that we're using up quite a lot of energy doing that. Where our attention is or, you know, where you put your attention, that's where your um, your focus and your energy goes. So if your energy is all spent in the past, oh, I could have been, I could have done this years ago. Um, I really wish I had have studied with that person years ago. It's like, it's like you're reminiscing, like you're thinking about something that could have been better than it is. When who you are right now, there's nothing wrong with you. There's nothing, there's no reason to go back and forward in time. Keep moving forward. This card is just telling you that you're dividing your energy by this focus on the past. And what's happening for you, what's next for you is really going to be fun and exciting. So if you can keep focused on where you are in the present and what you, you know, sort of like the energies that you're drawing into your life, you're going to have much more fun. You're going to feel lighter and you won't be bogged down and you won't go like it's like 
it's almost a depressive feeling around that that past energy for me and when you do focus on the future as you see this card is like the future ahead yeah it's like you see the path but then you start listening to your intuition you trust the mystery of of life and there may be a bump that comes in the road and instead of going oh there's a bump in the road blah 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 blah, going to an old story you say there's a bump in the road let's have a stop let's look let's have you know use our perspective okay so the path ahead looks really really clear and really you know like easy but the signpost is showing me that I should go to the right which one are you going to trust and this is where the mystery wants you to trust your intuition neither path is wrong so that's the key point here that the path ahead could be the one to choose but do it for the right reasons the path to the right might be the path maybe it's just about staying present because one path will call you it really doesn't matter it's about noticing we've got a couple more cards coming in for you i'm going to move these to the side they want to go in the middle and we have leo or the lion and this is a real self-empowerment and here we have the growth and now the growth wants to sit on top of leo so we have this real phase of growth coming in for you we have this again we've got a masculine energy and it's so perhaps you're really um, asserting your masculine intuition intuitive side your yang side and so the growth the, the growth is all about ex expanding your consciousness and awareness it's not just growth for growth's sake it's about moving into a really self-assured you and so that leo energy is all about being happy um, you know it's a bright fiery energy and it's about burning away the old stuff because it doesn't work and it's about lifting it all into the light so that you can feel happy and contented um, and a lot of joy going on there too um, so it's kind of like the lion wants you to know that this is who you are inside you are this very proud uh, very old being um, and it's about connecting into that not going into the past it's connecting into who you really are and you you will understand like look how wise this lion looks he's very self-assured and he's really wise you know he's really just gazing into the distance he's not um, ready to pounce he's not being very protective he's really relaxed he's really calm and it feels almost as if he's letting go of some old stuff too it's like it's rising up because he's part of that fire sign um, in this deck he is um, related to that and, and he is astrologically too um, but it's kind of like you're allowing and we've got the fire here too excuse me my throat <clears> throat> it's like you're allowing things to come up and out move move that way so these feel really wonderful for me and we have one more card for you and it's galactic healer move forward with an open mind um, so for some of you it could be that you are you are more of a healer than you understand but I also feel like that this is a bit of um, your galactic family or lineage or connection somehow um, coming to let you know that they're they're helping you with this moving forward um, and it's a really strong energy it's a real strong connection that you have um, with this star family or or star community and it's about allowing yourself to go deeper to trust again using your intuition to follow this mystery and to really move forward into um, your in, in this growth in your intuitive you know self intuitive being and the idea of expanding your mind and your consciousness that feels really aligned with this leo energy too you can hear my throat I like it's just uh, <clears> oh <throat> want to clear it but I just keep feeling this energy moving up and out. So <clears throat> this this growth for you is not only um, moving into this area that I feel you're most of you are quite passionate about, interested in. For some of you, it might be a little bit new, a little bit challenging, and that's why you're kind of wanting to look backwards. 
But for most of you, you know that you're interested in this great mystery. But what is happening is this real development in and the real growth. This is really signaling this growth. Um, it's on a mental plane. It's on an energetic plane. There's like so much development happening for you at this um, at this time in, in, in this reading that your guides want you to know. You're going through a real phase of development. So you really need to be gentle with yourself. Be kind to yourself. When you want to rest, have a rest. Don't keep pushing forward. And, you know... Call on your guides, call on your galactic family um, to heal you while you're going through this upgrade, while you're going through this um, this change, this growth period. And sodalite, I'm having a lot of problems around my throat and sodalite is a great crystal for cleansing of the throat. And I think that I talked about this earlier, but I can't remember now. Um that you know the throat around the throat is where we hear our psychic senses and and that sort of that development is one of the first chakras that we work with our upper chakras that go into this more spiritual realm um, and help us go into the mystery and trust it so it feels like you're for some of you it's the third eye and upwards but there's a lot of you who are working through the the throat chakra um you know getting into the clairs um, I have a blog on the clairs I'll link it in the description box below um, yeah that's what I'm seeing for you at the moment this is an exciting time I hope you've enjoyed this reading I've really enjoyed it some really interesting things coming up for you please let me know in the description box below what you thought if you know that you're going through this period of growth um, and if you like pick a card readings, please subscribe. Please give me this this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it and share it with family and friends. Thanks for joining me today. Hope to see you in a reading soon. Bye. Hi, Pile 4. If you chose this card, the Worry card, I'm learning that Worry doesn't change an outcome. And we have it in the um, reverse position. And I'm going to place it on Ganesh. I'm just going to leave it there for now because I want to bring in all of your other cards and really see what energies that we're working with um, in what next. Now let's just have a look at where, we, where we've got everything, see if we can make sure that everyone can see everything we've got there. Okay, so we'll put those out for now. So what next for pile four? So we're going to leave the worry aside for now because it feels like um that's quite a pervasive um energy that that is probably around you that's sort of um really got you worked up let's say that and let's move on so we're looking at cicada and what i'm what i'm feeling from cicada is it's all about transformation it's about movement it's about a renewal um, it's about a new path and um, so there's there's two there's a like a dual energy with this card and so it's kind of like you might be um, measuring yourself next to somebody else in your life whether that's your partner whether it's your best friend um, whether it's people you went to school with whatever it is um, there's this element of you judging yourself based on other people and it's time to let that go. No, no matter where you are in life, it's time to put that behind you. Um, and it's like you are you need a break from that. You need to break with this type of energy that you have been measuring yourself against. So what next is that you're transforming out of that old way of being. Your, your, your time is up when it comes to you judging yourself and being critical and measuring yourself against others. And spirit really wants to tell you that in quite a firm way because I feel like you've had this message before and you haven't paid attention. You have just thought it, thought it, sort of thought to yourself, um, I can keep this behavior going just in a little way, um, you know, and it's kind of like it's like an old habit that you just keep bringing out here, there and everywhere and spirit is really wanting you to know that it's time for that to be um, completed in your life really letting it go 
and what I feel is coming in for you there's a great big love and so as you let go of this um, this way of seeing how other people are in the world and measuring yourself against them you will realize that the the very cool thing that comes in is that you'll be more concerned with your own life and it will allow something else to take that place so when we you know like i me included when we have something in our life that is not serving us yet we're so used to doing it it's really hard to let it go because we're so used to it simple as that we're used to how it works we may be we may find that we're uncomfortable but we're used to it so we continue but what we don't realize is that it stops the flow of life it stops things coming in for us and so this way of being for you is outmoded outdated and you're bringing in something really really cool in your life so um, it feels like it's feels like this is either something you've kept really close to your heart or something that you've always been wishing hoping praying for um, or something that you do but you haven't allowed yourself to do so there's quite a few things this could be but it's all around the heart and happiness and allowing um, you know letting something spread its wings letting something take let something take flight and allow the energy to move through it and flow into it now funnily enough this card here is an eight and this card is also an eight when you um, take it down to its basic numbers and an eight is um, about abundance so it's like when you get the the message which is about worrying about what everyone else is thinking um and what everyone else is doing and when you focus on you and what's important for your heart then there's some really different energies going to come in for you and so that's let's get into that what next for you now we've got turtle and turtle is straddling the old and the new and i see this is a good thing because it's like you're not ready to let go of every single part of yourself you know the old parts of yourself you're not ready to let everything go and you don't have to and, to and turtles here to tell you that that's really okay too because you're you will take yourself with you everywhere you go even if you choose to um to to be different in the world you're still taking your home with you you're still taking the very essence of who you are you're just releasing parts that aren't working it's not like you have to become a new person and turtle really feels like that so you kind of like feels like you're wading through this it feels a little bit heavy it feels like you know there's a lot of um a lot of water around you so that's your emotional um your emotions around this so there's a lot of emotions around letting go of this behavior um because part of you thinks it serves you because i don't really know why i feel like it it gives you something to do it um it helps you figure out where you are in life like the pecking order and well, where you're going is um well my like around my my higher heart is like all really super excited and a bit nervous at the same time it's like this awesome excited energy and we see celebration and it's half an eight so we've got four and four is about building but we're seeing it in the reverse position and we're seeing the celebration in the reverse position because i don't feel like you think this is a celebration um but with all this orange it really is because you know you're allowing your creativity to shine you're allowing your solar plexus to show you what you're passionate about so we've we've definitely got this celebration in the reverse and um, for you at the moment it feels like that but it won't forever and it, and it will really move not quite quickly but when it moves you'll understand it and you'll see it more you'll still probably mourn a little bit of this older stuff but you'll understand because you have some really awesome cards coming in here for you uh, a wolf is really good at looking after its own family um protecting everybody and you know it's that um that real epitomization of a mother and the mother um and the mother takes care of the young takes care of everybody in the family 
Um, so it feels like you're either going to have someone come in who's very much like that as a teacher, or this is you, um, or um, spirit animals around you. But it, it 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 really feels like who you're going to turn into, and it and it's because um, you understand that instead of looking at every how everybody else does it, you're going to see that it's really important for you to protect you and yours. And not that you don't do that already, so don't get me wrong. It's just that you think that other people do it better, um, do it in a more deeper way. They they care more. You know, whatever whatever stories you've been telling yourself, um, this card here is showing up to show you that it's not what you it's not how you've seen it, but you are going to step up into that um, family protector. There may be a teacher coming in for some of you. Um, perhaps not all of you and it could be that you see that you're your own teacher for quite a few of you but definitely that wolf energy is coming in which is really protective and loving uh, for your whole pack and so if you are on your own that means your your pets that means your home your work um, anything any creative ideas that you're bringing into the world because remember you are bringing in something that's really this wonderful great love you are bringing that into the world so you really do need this protective energy but you also need to um, um, to love whatever to love your stuff so much that that you notice the difference. I don't know. If, I don't really know if I said that in a really in that that super strong way that that I feel. Let me see if I can phrase it better. The wolf energy is coming in so that you understand that you and yours um, are as good as anybody else. There is no measure. Okay, there is no need to measure. But you have been measuring for a long time. So it's like wolves coming in to tell you, you know, yours is yours is awesome. You know, pay attention to your own stuff. Don't worry about everybody else. Everyone else has got their own stuff going on. And before I come into Unicorn, we are going to come into the worry card. Because this is where the worry has been. The worry has been that you're not doing things right. That you're... Um, that you get worked up about situations because your home, your family, your friends, your career, whatever it is, they're not as good as, they're less than. And this card is in the reverse position to show you that that is now over. You know, and it sits with the transformation. It sits with the transformation because it's time to let that go. You're not going to transform totally into someone you don't know. You're going to re retain you but you're going to be the best parts of you. You're going to let go this this worry. And the words just came in, you're going to let go the little part of you, the little girl, the little boy, the child within you that worries or was taught to worry and um, to, to make other people more important than yourself. And this is what Wolf is coming in. And now I can, I can say it in that strong way, which is what I wanted to say in the first. You matter. You and your stuff, and when I say stuff, I mean your life. Your life and the people in it, they're the things that matter in your life. It's like its like you need to cut off the dead wood and that's the worry. That's the watching everybody else and allow this great big love to come in your life. And it could be that you see how amazing your life is. You know, for a lot of you, it's going to be quite different. And this is where you're going, this line here. And we've got Unicorn. And Unicorn is um, an amazing card. And I haven't had this card come up in a reading before. Um, the really high vibrational in this, this deck, the Wild Unknown Animal Guidebook, um, guide deck, sorry. Oh, goodness gracious, my... It's, it's really high vibrational. <laughs> and the Unicorn is about reconnecting to higher wisdom or divinity. And I can see why I haven't had this card that much because it's so high vibrational. Um, and I'm going to read from the guidebook so that you get the full essence of this card. It's difficult to see, hear or think of a unicorn without immediately questioning if it's real. Did they ever exist? Perhaps long, long ago. The mind answers maybe or it could be or no way. This very contemplation explains our relationship with divinity and encapsulates our wavering belief 
in the unicorn. We wonder what divinity is. We wonder where our intuition comes from and if we can really trust it. We think about a higher power and our mind. Oh, we think about our high, a higher power and our mind hesitates between yes, no and maybe. Is it male or female? Does it have a name? Is it just a feeling? The unicorn card appears and wakes us up to curiosity about the higher self and the divine. It is a card of questioning, exploring and contemplating the inexplicable. The mind's eye knows there is something beyond our day-to-day -day lives, a deeper dimension to our experiences. The mind's eye reaches and reaches and reaches out to grasp something more. You are the unicorn and you have begun your quest for answers. And this is all about the third eye chakra, um, exactly the place where the unicorn's horn comes out. And it's um, believed to be responsible for our intellect, our intuition, our deepest wisdom. And some say our eyes, our two eyes see the past and present while the third eye peers into the future. And whatever your beliefs are around that, that's for you to decide. So for me, what this reading is talking to you about is letting go an older part of yourself, an older part of yourself that really, really decided that for you to understand where you were in life, you had to prepare. You had to look at other people and it's created so much worry for you. It's created, you've, you've been following people. You've been trying to get in front of them all your life. You know, you've been doing this and what next for you is that you're changing, you're transforming and you're starting to see this bigger picture. Um, you know, you're really moving into your higher awareness and you're bringing in this great big love regardless of whatever that is for you for a lot of you will be your family realizing that your family is everything um, and when I say that I don't mean that you have to heal wounds and past hurts it's not about that it's about figuring out who your family is and whether that's your friends or your workmates or whoever it is that's who I'm talking about. I'm not talking about a um, a bloodline. If if your bloodline is really not good, then that, you know throw that away. That's not for you. P being part of a pack is what your family is all about, and that's where that's what's going to change for you at the moment. What's what's coming in new for you is that you're seeing all your relationships differently, and it's something you. That, that is really awesome for you and your guides really want you to know it's about time um, because you've had this conversation before and and the transformation is is coming. Um, the carnelians that I've put out today and you pick the carnelian, that, you know, it is a transformation type of energy. It's a hot energy It's and you've got quite a lot of hot cards happening there too. Passion, excitement. And, you know, sometimes that can actually start a fire that then allows you to to take pro, um, to sort of take, take notice, you know. And, and I actually did pull another card and I completely forgot all about it. And I'm going to bring it in now. And it's the Celestial Gatekeeper. Timing is critical. And that's really interesting because one of the thoughts I had a minute ago is that you can, you can just block this. You can say, oh, yeah, sure, let's just wait and see until that comes in. The transformation is stuff you need to do. The transformation doesn't happen, um, you know, outside of you. And if you have a look at these three cards, they've all got this red energy and a green energy. In Chinese medicine, they're all about the heart and liver. And liver is about um, anger and frustration and bitterness Um and it's kind of like you need to let all that stuff go. You need to let that um, constant checking um, and comparing go. And the timing here is critical. And I feel like you might have some birds come in as, as a bit of a um, a reminder to you to, to pay attention and that, it, that they're watching you. They're, they're, they're helping you. Um, but they're, going to, they're going to give you a bit of a nudge here and there everywhere. 
I hope you've enjoyed this reading. It was pretty in-depth. There was a lot going on. I hope you have a, a greater insight into what, what next for you. If you've enjoyed this reading, please give it a big thumbs up for me. Um, please subscribe to my channel to go into the draw each month to win a, a private reading with me and also for more picker cards each week. Thanks for joining me today and I hope to see you again in another video. Bye.